verse 10, let's read together. One to go. Now Jacob went out from the assembly and went to one's Helen. 11 priests and 12. So he came to a church and praised and stayed there all night because the sun had set. And he took one of the stones of that praise and put it at his head. And he lay down in that praise to sleep. Then he dreamt, and behold, a lander was set up on the earth, and its top reached to heaven. And there the angel of God were ascending, the angels of God were ascending and descending on eight. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, your father, and the God of Isaac, and the Lord on which you lie, I will give it, I will give to you and your descendants. Also your descendants shall be as the dust of the earth, you shall spread a blood to the west and the east, to the north and to the south, and in you and in your seed all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Can I hear amen? amen. I want to continue with my subject on encountering with God. When we talk about encountering with God, it is always the desire of a man to know God better. In the depth of a man you want to know God. There is a vacuum in a man that is desperate looking for a power. There is a vacuum in a man that cannot be filled by any other power. It is a vacuum that can only be filled by God Almighty. The Bible says there was a man by name Jacob. He went out from the assembly and Ak went to one's Halan. And he came to a certain place where he decided to lodge for a night. When he lodged for a night, he had a desire in him that he would, he would meet with God. He had a desire to to meet with God. And the Bible says after the sun set. After the sun set. God came visiting Jacob. Jacob was a man after God's heart. He wanted to hear from God. He wanted to know about God. And this time he had an encounter with God Almighty. And the, the Bible says the angels of the Lord came and visited tell him through throughout the night he had a dream and there was a ladder where the angels of the Lord descended and ascended. He had an experience with God. And after he had this experience with God, he woke up and said, Just stay there, just stay there. 
Amen. He woke up and said, For sure there is God in this place. God is in this place. And I come to let you know, beloved of God, a time comes for the church of Jesus to discover God by yourself. It is good to be told about God. God. But it is good to have an encounter with your God. When you have an encounter with your God, you will never be confused in life. Believers are confused today because they do not have a special encounter with their God. They are tossed here and there because they do not understand their God. They are tossed here and there because they don't understand their maker. That Jacob says, I do not want to just hear about God. I had God from my father Abraham. I had God from my fathers but I want to have an experience with God so he went to Ahalan he went to Haran and there in Haran he waited upon God and my Bible says when he was asleep God came for him may God visit you in your dreams may God visit you in your house may God visit you in your prayer life we have of a God who visits men. We have a God who comes to men when they need him. He is not far miles away that he cannot come when we pray. When Jacob was in prayer and he was in the presence of the Most High, he was not thinking about his business. He was not thinking about his children. He was thinking about the father. And the father said, since your heart is after me, since your heart is after me, I will come for you. And God came. Jacob had an experience with God Almighty. How can you have an experience with your maker today? You can only have an experience when you commit yourself into a life of prayer. I say into a life of prayer. People that pray, they have a fellowship with God. People that call upon Jehovah they have a fellowship with their maker my bible says call unto me and I will answer and I will show you great things and such about things things that have not come into your spirit when you pray God will show it to you things you never imagined in your life when you pray God will reveal it to you I declare by the word of the Lord after this conference men and women of God will be men of great dreams not nightmares but the dreams of God the dreams of the kingdom because you shall be a man of prayer you shall be a man of God shout a better hallelujah then Jacob 
now walk from his sleep and say surely the Lord is in this place and I did not know it he saw God in the dreams when he woke up there was such a presence that he said surely God is in this place though I did not know it he came when I was asleep in a dream of God when you woke up wake up you will never forget what God told you in the sleep when you have a dream of God God will always remind you what you dreamt because God has a reason for your dream and today beloved of God we do not only see when we are asleep we see even when we are walking because we see by the eye of the spirit I speak to your eye your spiritual eye that you will begin to see what is ahead of you even as you walk even as you walk even as you sleep may the Lord open your eyes that you may see what is ahead of you God came to Jeremiah and asked Jeremiah what do you see Jeremiah? what do you see Jeremiah and Jeremiah said or oh, what I can see it is an omelet tree it is an omelet tree and the Bible says God said to Jeremiah you see it well and because you have seen it well by what you see I have appointed you to be the uprooter of, to be the uprooter of the nations and to be the looter of the nations you will uproot and you will loot you will plant and you will uproot the unnecessary you will uproot the unnecessary can I hear amen Matthew chapter 15 verses 13 my Bible says ah, but he answered and said every plant which my father has not planted shall be uprooted so he told Jeremiah whatever I have not planted in the nation of Israel you shall uproot it and whatever I need planted it shall be rooted I declare to you today whatever is in your system that was not planted by the Lord whatever is in your blood that was not planted by the Lord it shall be rooted up it shall be uprooted in the name of Jesus lift up your one hand and declare every plant in my life that has not been planted by my father shall be uprooted I uproot every plant my father did not plant in my blood I uproot every plant of cancer in my family I uproot every plant of cancer in my family in the name of Jesus whatever my father has not planted I uproot I uproot in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah I declare to the church of Jesus what you see will bring answers to your life 
He said, Jeremiah, you have seen it right. And because you have seen it right, by you, Jeremiah, I will uproot. And by you, Jeremiah, I will plant tonight, this morning, I declare whatever must be planted in your family, it shall be planted. In the name of Jesus, I say it shall be planted. In the name of Jesus, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Whatever must be planted, academic excellence, academic excellence for your children shall be planted. I say shall be planted in the name of Jesus. Jesus. No foolishness in our houses. Foolishness is not a gift to our children. Uh, I say foolishness is not a gift to our children. We approve foolishness. I say we approve foolishness. In the name of Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is God's will. For every good plant to be planted in our life, to be planted in our children. Oh, I hear we continue with our children. Say, I declare today, I declare today. Upon my children, the spirit of foolishness, academic foolishness, shall never prevail over their life, over their faculties. In the name of Jesus, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you believe it for your children, shout. If you believe it for your children, shout hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. Beloved of God, he said every plant which my heavenly father has not planted shall be uprooted. Which is that plant in your in your wheat. Which is that plant my father has not planted? Allow it to be uprooted in the name of the Lord. Whatever plant in your marriage that your father has not planted, it shall be rooted up. I say, it shall be rooted up. I say, it shall be rooted up. Whatever is in your marriage that should not be in your marriage, let your father root it up in the name of Jesus. Whatever is in your ministry, they are men of God in this house. Whatever is in your ministry that my father has not planted, it shall be rooted up. If you are prophetic, root it up. If you are prophetic, root it up. In the name of Jesus, say, I root it up. I root it up. I root it up. In the name of Jesus, shout hallelujah. Whatever confusion the enemy want to bring, it is the planting of the devil. It is the planting of the devil. We shall uproot it. I say we shall uproot it. In the name of Jesus, shout with me, I declare. Every evil plant glowing in my family, glowing in my life, in my ministry, today, by the voice of the Spirit, I uproot, I uproot, I uproot, I uproot, in the name of Jesus, cancer, I uproot. Diabetes, I approve. I approve you now. In the name of Jesus.
Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Receive your freedom in Jesus' name. I say receive your freedom in Jesus' name. I say receive your freedom in Jesus' name. Glory to the name of Jesus. Jacob says, if I go to a solitary place God will hear me he will come you may have your seat and the Bible says when he went to a solitary place he had a special encounter with God Almighty the angels were descending the angels were descending and when they descended they brought a blessing from heaven and when they saw Jacob and they went back to heaven they were carrying the needs of Jacob and then they were coming down telling Jacob whatever you have been waiting for many years we have been instructed to minister to you didn't you know beloved of God angels are ministering spirits angels are ministering spirits they minister to the hair of salvation Hebrews chapter 1 and verses number 7 let's see Hebrews and of the angels he says who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a frame of fire but of the angels he says who makes Go back, go back, seven. Who makes his angel spirits? And his ministers a frame of fire. And miyale yamoto. Okay. Who makes his angel spirits? Anayefanya maraika wawe loho. Na anayefanya watumishi wake wawe miali ya moto. Samani kwa kwa habari za malaika sema, afanyai malaika wake kuwa pepo na watumishi wake kuwa miali ya moto. Can I hear a better amen? Amina mzuri. So, angels are spirits. Malaika ni roho. And they minister to believers. Na wanaudumia waumini. They are ministering angels that their work is here on earth. We have ministering angels whose work is here on earth. So in heaven they don't have a job. Their job is here to minister to the hair of salvation. Let's read verses 8. See what? But to the son he says, your throne of oh God is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. Verses 12, 11, 12, 12, 13. Let me check. Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for those who will inherit? How 
how many are heirs of salvation? Uh, uh, if you can't lift up your heart, I'm not sure whether you are a heir of salvation. I'm asking how many are heirs of salvation? The Bible says, Are they not all ministering spirits? Are they not all ministering spirits? Send forth Wakitumwa. to minister Kudumu. to those who will inherit Kwa wale salvation. Wokovu. I am a heir of salvation. You are a heir of salvation. So what is the work of the angels? It is to minister to you. When do they minister to you? They minister to you in the platform of prayer. In the platform of worship. In the platform of the presence of God. They minister to you. So when you are secret, are they not all ministering spirits? Sent forth to minister to you healing. Whoever is sick in this house, let the presence of the kingdom, let the presence of the kingdom, and let the ministering angels minister to you right now now in the name of Jesus what it happened to Jacob what happened to Jacob it can happen to you now I said can happen to you now angels were descending and ascending because Jacob was in prayer you are all here for prayer you came for a conference you left everything else I want you to forget your neighbor and be saying every God anywhere at any how even as you walk God can cause an angel to come and minister to your life uh, I say hallelujah are they not ministering spirits are they not ministering spirits send forth to minister to those who inherit salvation so if angels ministered to Jacob if angels ministered to Jacob in the Old Testament how much more how much more the New Testament church should experience the visitation of the ministers of God that are called ministering spirits. Shout a better hallelujah. How much more? How much more? Tell your neighbor you are about to have a visitation. Uh, say it again. You are about to have a visitation. A special visitation. A special visitation. From on high. That was the first encounter. Between Jacob and God. And the second encounter. Genesis. Genesis 32, 24. Let's read Genesis 22, uh, 32, 24. This was the second encounter. Uh -huh, verses 25. All of us together want to go. Now when he saw that he did not prevail against him, 
He touched the socket of his hip and the socket of Jacob's hip was out of joint and he wrestled with him and he said let me go for the day breaks but he said I will not let you go unless you bless me 27 so he said to him what is your name he said Jacob 28 and he said your name shall no longer be called Jacob but Israel for you have struggled with God and with men and have prevailed shout amen, amen. my bible says <inaudible> after the first encounter <inaudible> with god in the dreams <inaudible> jacob had a second encounter <inaudible> and this second encounter <inaudible> It was not a dream. He went into the valley of Jabbok to pray. He went into the valley to pray. And when he was in prayer, the angel of the Lord came. And the Bible calls that the Lord came to Jacob. And Jacob was in prayer. He was wrestling. He was tired of his problems. He was tired of his troubles. Church of Jesus Christ, you must be tired of what you go through. Whatever is not favorable to you, you must get tired to get to another level. You don't get to another level unless you are tired. So Jacob was tired. He said, I was born a Konaya. My name is a, a means a conman. Jina langu ya manisha tapeli. A deceiver. Mtu ambaye ni mdanga nifu. I am tired walking like a konaya. Nimechoka kutembea kama mtu tapeli mtu mdanga nifu. I am tired walking like a lusa. Nimechoshwa kutembea kama mtu anayeshindwa. I am tired walking like a, a beaten man. Nimechoka kutembea kama mtu ambaye ameshindwa. And Jacob said, Na Yakobo akasema, I will go into the valley of prayer. Nitaingia katika bonde la maombi. And I will make a prayer to my father. Na nitafanya maombi kwa baba and I'll tell my father I am tired I am tired you bless me today and my life will be okay he wrestled with God it was not a one minute prayer it was not a breakfast prayer Many believers pray breakfast prayers. And they say, Lord, as I go, be with me. Lord, as I go, manifest yourself. Master, as I go, see me in the office. And oh Lord, bless this thing. In Jesus name. That is not the prayer. That will change your life. That will not be the prayer. That will change the level of your ministry. The kind of prayer we are talking about. It's a less prayer. 
I say it's a wrestling prayer. You are tired of this situation. And you lessen. And you say, Lord, this one was not planted in my body. Take it out of my body. You lessen until it's out of your system. He lessened with God the whole night. And when the angel came, Jacob had an experience. Yakobo akawa na makutano. He had an experience. He had an experience. Eh eh. Alikuwa a experience. Eh eh. Sema alikuwa na experience. Amen. Alleluia akawa na experience. He had what? He had an experience. The first time. Mara ya kwanza. The angels descended and ascended. Malaika walikuwa kipanda na kushuka. He did not hold one of the angels. Akumshika na kumkamata malaika mmoja. He was in the dream. He just saw them. Alikuwa katika ndoto. Aliwaona tu. Descending. Wanashuka. And ascending. Na wanapanda. Descending. Wanashuka. And ascending. Na kupanda. Descending. Wana shuka. And ascending. Na kupanda. This time Jacob says. Wakati uya koba kasema. I will not do it the same way. Tita ifanya vile vile. I did not hold one of the angels. Tuku shika malaika moja. But this time loud. Lakini wakati huu. I will get hold of you. Nita kushikilia. And until you bless me. Paka unibariki. I will not leave you. So when the Lord came, Jacob held him. And he had a night with the angel. With, with the angel. And the Bible says that it was daybreak. And during then Jacob was, uh -huh, it was daybreak. Now when he saw that he did not prevail against him, he touched the socket of his hip and the socket of Jacob's hip was out of joint. Are we together? It was, it was out of joint as he lessened with him. So when Jacob was lessening, his hip went out of and he held him tight and look at the other verse now when he saw uh -huh. and he said akasema let me go for the day breaks so the first time the angels were descending and ascending. But this time, Alishika Moja. Alishika Moja. Alisema Leo. Siachili. Siachili. Mpaka Maraika Mwenyewe Akamuambia. Hatu Hitajiki Kuonekana na Binadamu. Na kwa sababu usiku umeeda Na mchana unakaribia Tafadhali ni achilie Ili nisionekane na wanadamu Nataka kuenda Kuenda kwa baba yangu Shout amen And the angel of the Lord And Jacob said Na Yakobo akasema I'm not leaving you Siku achilie Sikuachili. Sikuachili. Until useme jabo. Sikuachili. Sikuachili. Until useme jabo. Pako useme jabo. Until you say a word. Pako useme jabo. I will not let you go. Sikuachili ya wende. This was not a two minutes prayer. Nikuwa ni maombi la dakika mbili. It was a whole night prayer. Ilikuwa maombi ya siku kucha. And you don't have to pray the whole night to experience that. But it is good to have an experience in prayer. Are we together? So the angel said. But he said, let me go. 
For the day breaks. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. Lift up your one hand and say, I will not let you go until you bless me. I will not let you go until you bless me. Amen. Do you know your maker is here? Do you know your ministering angels are here? You better have a voice. I will not let you go until you bless me. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. And verses 27. So he said to him, Brother, what is your name? Akamuliza jina lako ni nani? Maana umekataa na mimi. Wewe unaitwa nani? Do you think the Lord did not know his name? Je, unafikiria Mungu Bwana hakujua jina lake? Let's talk. Do you think the Lord did not know his name? Je, Bwana hakujua jina lake? He knew. Alijua. But he wanted him to say it. Alitaka aseme mwenyewe. That's why when you hear the preacher telling you say this after me. When you ignore it. It is at your risk. It is at your risk. When you hear the, the preacher say say I am blessed. And you say in your heart. Ah, I know. I know. The angel asked him, Malika What is your name? Jina lako ni nani? And he said, I am Jacob. Akasema Yakobo. I am Jacob. Yakobo. Mimi naitwa Yakobo. I am Jacob. Ninaitwa Yakobo. And he said, Akasema, Oh, that's where the problem is. Hapo ndipo shida iko. That's where the problem is. The problem is not with your father. The problem is in this name. And he said, Jacob, from today, they will not call you Jacob, but they will call you Israel for you have struggled with God and with men and you have prevailed you will no longer be called the Konaya you will be called the blessed one you will be called the anointed one and from Jacob when God blessed him he is now a father the 12 tribes of Israel they are coming from Jacob I said they are coming from Jacob why he wrestled with God he wrestled with men and he prevailed if you want to see a change in your life you must wrestle you spiritually wrestle and God of the word will bring answers into your life. I say he will bring answers into your life. Shout a better amen. He is God that blesses me. He will bless your destiny in the name of the Lord. When there is a divine visitation because that is a divine visitation. When there is such a divine encounter, things have to change. There is no one who met with God poor and went back poor. There is no one who met God sick and went back sick. Anyone who met God 
God settled his matter. Your matter shall be settled. Your case shall be settled. Say, my case shall be settled. Amen. So he met God. His life changed from that time. I see people after these mountain takers going out there declaring I went without nothing. I come with abundance. Oh, Hannah went to Shiloh. I, they went to Shiloh. They went without nothing. Thing. But when they came back, they came calling the blessing. I declare to you, as you get out of this our Shiloh, the mountain takers, you will go with your blessing in Jesus' mighty name. Let me say, I will go with my blessing in Jesus' name. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will go saying. 2023. In the mountain takers. I met with God. God ministered to me. And my life have changed. From that time. From that time, there are ministries that will change from this mountain takers. If we take serious the word taught to us, yesterday we were taught to honor our fathers, spiritual fathers, biological fathers. We were taught to honor as we honor God. We we must also honor our fathers, uh, uh, spiritual fathers, and biological fathers. If we take this thing serious, you will see a change in your life. I say again, you will see a change in your life. Shout a better amen. I know of one of my brothers. If it is not me. And he went to his parents. And he gave him, he gave the parents his house. And he was left with none. A good house. Nyumba and he was left with none. Bure. And after giving out the house, Na bada, ya kupea, na ile nyumba. the questions were, what next? Nini tena? We go to the village. Tunenda kijijini. Ni kurara kwa gali. Si kuna mitito kama hiyo. But God did not permit that to happen. Lakini mungu wa kutuhusu hiyo kufanyika. Immediately after that house was given. Pindi tu alipopatia na hiyo nyumba. The following year. Mwaka ifuatayo. God provided. Mungu alitosheleza. In a supernatural manner. Kwa njia ya kiungu. And the house that was built, it was bigger and glorious than the house that was given. But the house that was given was the best. And that's when I discovered when you bless your parents, there is a blessing that unlocks. 
I see there is a blessing that unlocks. Tell your neighbor, unlock your blessing. Uh, tell your neighbor, unlock your blessing. Unlock your blessing. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unlock your blessing. So when God meets with you, when you meet with God, you go to another level. For those who are writing, when you have an encounter with God, limitations are broken. Limitations are broken. Limitations are broken. When you get encounter with God, limitations are broken. Say, I declare today every limitation in my life shall be broken tonight in Jesus' name. If you only believe it, it shall be your portion in Jesus' name. Whatever limited you before you came, it shall be broken here. And you shall go say, when I met the Lord, every limitation in my life was broken. Let every limitation break in the name of Jesus Christ. Limitation in your career. There are people who are in the same level in their profession, in their career. But I come as a voice to declare today that limitation in your career shall break now in the name of Jesus. Lift up your one hand and say, I declare the limitation of my life career limitation is broken now in Jesus name in Jesus name hallelujah we must break every limitation we are tired of celebrating party days of celebrating party days without nothing to show that you just celebrate your birthday and the whole one here one full year. There is nothing to show. You are just celebrating. That you are older, one year older. I say to you, we are tired. I, I, I'm not sure about everybody, but I can see these who are studying. They are tired. I, I can see a few people that are that are studying. They, they, they are tired in the name of the Lord. Those that are tired and you are studying and shouted, I declare today, I declare today, every limitation in my life, every limitation in my life, shall be broken, in Jesus' mighty name, amen, look at that neighbor, tell your neighbor, I will not just celebrate a birthday. I will celebrate with abundance. I will celebrate with increase. I will celebrate with an elevation. My next celebration will be a blessed celebration. In Jesus' name, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. 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 Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is another level ahead of you. 
Look at our neighbor, tell your neighbor. The level that you are now. Say it loud, it's a statement you know. The level you are now. It is the lowest level that you can be in life. You are getting to a higher level. You are getting to another level. In Jesus' name. Amen. I say amen. You say, preacher, how will it happen? And the way there are problems everywhere. There are challenges everywhere. My Bible says, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift a standard against the enemy. Hear me, church. Ah, when the enemy comes in this level, you can see the level I am in now. When the enemy front will come in this level, the spirit of the Lord shall lift a standard. And the front will go. When the enemy shall come in this level, I will go to another level. When the front comes in this level I will go to another level when the flood comes in this level I will go to another level when the flood comes to this level I climb to another level when the abundance of flood comes I will go to another level and get to another level hear me beloved of God what you go through it is a, a, a way to elevate your life. The problems you've been going through, they are not there to destroy you. They are taking you to another level. They are lifting you to another level. They are pushing you to another level. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift a star against the enemy. I declare to every one of you that in the name of Jesus, the enemy of your destiny shall not prevail over your life. The enemy of your health, the enemy of your health shall not prevail over your life, over your health. In Jesus mighty name, shout hallelujah. We will not be dominated by the thoughts of the enemy. We shall be dominated by the plan of God concerning our lives. For my Bible says, for I know, for I know, for I know, Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know, say God knows, Ah, say my father knows, he says, for I know, the thoughts that I think, towards you, God has a thought. He has a thought towards your life. Even now that you are sick, God has a thought towards you. Even now that you are downcasted, God has a thought towards you. And my Bible says, I think towards you. Not, thought, not thoughts of evil, but thoughts of peace, and not of evil, and to give you a future, and a hope, if the devil was 
about to destroy you. That is his plan. But the plan of Jehovah is a future and a hope. There is hope for you. There is hope for you. Church, there is hope for you. There is hope in your marriage. There is hope for your children. Hey! There is hope for your children. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your one heart. Makata katabihisa. Say it loud and clear, Father, in Jesus' name. Say it, Father, in Jesus' name. I declare today every thought of the enemy concerning my life will never prevail in the name of Jesus every word spoken against my life by wicked men those words I nullify I nullify I nullify every word in the air Every word in the atmosphere hunting my life in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, deliver me from the trap of the enemy in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, I shall decree a matter. And the matter shall be established. And there shall be light on the way. Give me the scripture. I shall declare a matter. Uh, is it Job or Isaiah 22-29? I shall declare a matter and the matter shall be established and there shall be light on the way. Take the question, Isaiah or Job. Uh, Job 22, 29. I shall declare a matter. I want us to read that scripture. Job 22, 28. Let's read together. One to go. Don't say you. One to go. I shall also declare a thing. And it shall be established for me. So light will shine on my ways. Can you shout it loud and clear? One to go. I put shall. My Bible says shall. Put shall. Say, I shall also declare a thing. Hey. Say, I shall declare a thing. I shall declare a matter and the matter shall be established and there shall be right on my way do you believe it in Jesus name hallelujah yes Lord time is over we will continue in the afternoon. But let's make a declaration on that. Say, I declare today. Declare, declare. Say, I declare now. I declare. Es Moravi. Your name. Es Moravi. I shall prosper. I shall increase 
in my days in the name of the Lord I declare today I shall not die interpret I shall not die by the heart of the enemy in the name of Jesus I shall not die by the heart of the enemy in the name of Jesus my life shall not be destroyed my life shall not be destroyed by the enemy in Jesus name my future is blessed my tomorrow is blessed in Jesus name Amen Hallelujah! Hallelujah! That word says, so light will shine on your ways. Light will shine on your way when you declare. When you do what? When you declare, light will shine on your way. We are in April. You declare in the month of May I am blessed. The devil can never prevail over my life. In the month of June, I am blessed of the Lord. I can't die in June. I can't die in July. I can't die in, in August. I can't die in September. I can't die in October. I can't die in November. I can't die in December. When you... When you make that declaration, the Bible says, then light will shine on your way. So light will shine in December. The people, the enemy that was strategized to destroy you December 25. Yule shetani amepangwa na shetani. Yule shetani amepangwa na shetani. Ili akuharibu mwezi wa December tarehe 14. Yule amewekwa hapo akaambiwa ya kwamba kaa hapo ili akifika hapo umalize yeye. Yule amewekwa mwezi wa Mei ili ukifika me akumalize yule amewekwa mwezi wa june july august september october november ili akumalize wakati umetangaza neno biblia inasema ya kwamba light will shine on the way so yule shetani yuko me ataona mwangaza wa bwana yule shetani ako june ataona mwangaza wa bwana kabla akupate mwangaza umetangulia nasema mwangaza unatangulia shout amen that's why you cannot be destroyed by the heart of the enemy in Jesus mighty name shout amen you will not suddenly die you will not suddenly die You shall live. I shall live. Blessed are those who live unfinished messages. Blessed are those who live with unfinished messages. Shall be invited again to preach in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
But we must give our offering. We must give our offering. Sit down and give an offering in the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your offering. I ask Pastor Karuga, our overseer in Rift Valley, to come and uh, bless this offering in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift up your offering, we pray. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you so much for this is the day that you have made that we may be glad and rejoice in it. We thank you because of speaking into our lives that we will rise up the Holy Spirit will rise us up you have built faith in us and we are happy and we are giving an offering of appreciation of glorifying your name of blessing your name receive our offering receive us as well and let our offering be accepted before you and in expectation we believe and trust we shall receive good measure Rest down, shaken together. Men shall bring unto our bosom. We thank you. We attach our giving with the scriptures, for they can never be broken. Your promises are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. We thank you and bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Asante. Jesus Celebration Center, JCC Kisumu Church. What God is looking for are men who have integrity, men who have character, men who can handle the glory, men who can also handle the goals. Join us for our services, Sundays, workers' service, 6.30 a.m. to 9 a.m., second service, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. and a third service 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Grace Hour every Monday to Friday 12.45 p.m. to 2 p.m. Prayer Service every Monday at 5 p.m. Home Bible Fellowship Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5 p.m. Bible Focus and Communion Services every Wednesday at 5 p.m. And on Fridays from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m., night vigil or kesha. You are welcome to join us for any or all of the services. Purpose to attend and you will be blessed. JCC Kisumu, between the Kisumu National Polytechnic and Moy Stadium. You are welcome.